what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Demetrius Pogorchis, a 17-year-old boy who committed 10 murders at his Santa Fe High School, cannot receive the death penalty and could possibly be paroled someday. Let's get this straight. This guy slayed eight of his schoolmates, two teachers, wounded 13 others, and he's going to be considered someday for parole if he survives prison. Now, he's going to be tried as an adult, but even if he's convicted, he cannot receive the death penalty because in 2005, the Supreme Court ruled that no person under the age of 18 can be executed. When juveniles commit heinous crimes, the state can exact forfeiture of some of the most basic rights, but the state cannot extinguish life or the potential to attain a mature understanding of its own humanity. This is what the Supreme Court ruled. It's worth noting that just because parole is an option after 40 years, it doesn't mean that old Demetrius is going to qualify for parole. It doesn't mean that he's going to be granted parole. That is highly unlikely. But stranger things have happened in America. So you never know. It is possible. I mean, Charles Manson was up for parole. It seemed like at one point they probably was going to give it to him. You just never know with America. Very, very strange place when it comes to the so-called criminal justice system. The school had a shooting plan, armed guards, and practice. Yet, 10 people still got killed. What does that tell you? For some of y'all, more guards, need more security. Arm the teachers. Arm, more guns, 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 guns. It's not going to make a difference, even if you had 100 officers there. They can't watch everybody at all times. When somebody get ready to kill and they're intent on killing, they are going to kill. That is why America has to work on the minds and hearts of Americans. People in America just don't care about each other. We live in a very, very individual world, very individual society. It's, I made it, nobody helped me, you're on your own. If I could do it, you could do it, and you could do it by yourself. Nobody helped me, I'm not helping anybody. We live in a type of world where we don't care about our neighbors. We don't care about our neighbors' children. We, have, we don't even know our neighbors. Everybody is every man for themselves, every woman for themselves, every child for themselves. That's the way we operate. We can say whatever the hell we want to say about neighbors and love and getting along and God and Jesus, for those of you who believe that, we can say all that stuff we want to. We can say that I'm different, I'm the decent one. We just don't care, man. We don't care like that. Not in this country. This country is a very self-absorbed society. The people here, for the most part, not all, of course, but I will say, like, the overall climate is very self-absorbed. Self 
People just don't care about each other. That's the bottom line. And when you have a society of people who think they're out here on their own and nobody cares, you got people getting bullied and nobody's standing up for them. Nobody's coming to their defense. You got policemen out here taking advantage of the citizens, raping people, killing people, stealing, assaulting people, disrespecting people. You got judges on dope, running prostitution rings. You got politicians getting caught up in sex trafficking. Man, ain't nobody trying to respect that stuff. All of these major institutions are all corrupt. From the top on down, man, they're corrupt. And a lot of people here just don't feel like they have any kind of backup. And this is the reason why there is so much pain in this society. This is why people would go, just go out and do stuff, just the most unconscionable things and not feel any remorse because they don't have any shame. They don't have anything to be shamed about or any anybody that they look up to enough, that they respect enough to care about what that person thinks. You know, a lot of what people do is based on the people uh, other people's perception of what they think other people's perception of them is going to be. If you feel like nobody care about you, nobody out there, period. You don't give a damn. You just whatever. Now, a lot of y'all say, well, you know, you do what you want to do. People are going to do what they want to do anyway, and they got to be held accountable. At the end of the day, you got to be held accountable because I can tell you every single time that I've ever went into a courtroom, nobody gave a damn that I grew up in a single parent household. Nobody cared that my parents were alcoholics. Nobody cared that I was poor. Nobody cared. They just said, you did this, you get that. Them judges don't give a damn when you walk into that courtroom and you black. They don't give a damn about all that stuff. But they got a whole bunch of excuses. If you white, they got a bunch of excuses. Oh, we don't want to send her to prison because you know, that could that could ruin her life forever. You know, it would be too traumatic. It would be too traumatic for her if she go to prison. But the black guy can take it. The black girl, can she can take it. Go to prison. <laughs> you know, too much latitude for judges to do what they want to. Uh, to the, uh, the, the crimes, the punishment is too vague. It's too, much, uh, it's too much latitude given the judges on what they can do, you know. Uh, too many variables, rich, poor, young, old, white, black. Uh, did I say, yeah, I said poor, rich. Uh, high profile, not high profile. You got uh, female, male. You know, you got all of these different variables that would determine, you know, the sentence of this person versus that person. It's just all screwed up, man. And it's going to get worse before it gets better because, again, all of our top institutions are corrupt. All of the people at the top of these institutions, they're corrupt. And they're sitting so high up, you know, behind their security gates and uh, private security guards and all of this type of stuff. It's almost like they're immune to what's going on with everybody else, even their kids, all of their kids in these private schools and heavily guarded and stuff. So they don't, it's like they don't care what's going on with everybody else. Everybody else just get what they get. And this is the reason why, you know, America is so dangerous and hiring more cops is not the answer. Giving police departments more money is not the answer. Giving them more money to further militarize themselves is not the answer. We're already living in a police state. Giving them more funding is not the answer. The answer is people getting back to caring about people. That's the answer. 
you're not going to be able to kill your way into love and, and respect. You know, like the police ain't going to be able to make people respect them. They're not going to be able to kill and get respect, be disrespectful and get, and get respect. You don't get respect being disrespectful. Uh, they tend to think they, they can get it that way, but that's not going to happen. I heard that the shooter killed one of the girls because she rejected his advances. What a sorry ass person. Man, I mean, back to these just basic human skills of knowing how to deal with rejection. You know, a normal person would just Okay, she don't want me. Okay, I'll just go on by my business. I'll find somebody else. She don't want me. Oh, I'll kill her. Come on, man. If you're out there and you can hear me, fellas, don't be that sucker. Don't be Demetrius. Don't be the sucker. Straight up sucker. Man. I wonder what burger establishment they took him to. You know they took him to get something to eat. He looks like a Wendy's guy. What a despicable human being. Hopefully they'll kill him in prison. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? <laughs>